The new MacBook Pro M3 model for 2023 will be coming with a brand new design and also we have more details on the M3 chipset revealed in today's report. Let's go over the details about this and also cover the details about the specs for the new MacBook Pro including screen size, design and other details and of course give you the latest on the MacBook Pro M3 release date and price as well. But first let's jump in there with what the MacBook Pro is essentially being upgraded to. So for a long time, Apple have always provided the smaller, lower spec MacBook Pro and a higher spec MacBook Pro for the last 10 years or so. And when we had the sort of the Intel chipsets, we normally on the 13 inch MacBook Pros sort of either got basically a dual core, even a quad core in its later days on that MacBook Pro for the 13 inch model. Then after in the later years, we actually got the quad core. And then after that, we got to Apple Silicon and Apple Apple decided to make the 13 inch MacBook Pro just have the standard M chipset inside it so we had the likes of the M1 and the M2 but then for the likes of the 14 and the 16 inch MacBook Pros the larger models they have that M1 Pro and M2 Pro and also that M2 Max as well and the M1 Max inside it so the 13 inch one has always been considered sort of a sort of a lower spec model inside it. As already mentioned, we have the M2 chipset already inside the MacBook Pro, but the actual design of the MacBook Pro hasn't changed a bit, probably in the last sort of about seven years now. Even when we had the Intel chipset inside the 13 inch MacBook Pro, we had the touch bar design, and this design has stayed the same. We've had refreshers, like I said, on the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros with brand new design, and even the MacBook Air in 2022, but nothing on the MacBook Pro 13 inch. However, this year it looks like that this could be changing. So for design and screen size of the new MacBook Pro M3. So we're hoping that this year for the first time we'll actually see a brand new design for the MacBook Pro with the M3 chipset inside it. It's most likely the new design would be thinner than say the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros but the other difference it would be is that there would be probably a few less additional ports than what we have on those two models. So for example we probably have more than we got on the 13 inch MacBook Air so we're probably expecting maybe a MagSafe capability and SD card slot and also a HDMI port too. But as this is the smaller MacBook Pro, we'll probably only get, say, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. But for the actual screen size as well, it will probably stay the same size as the current MacBook Air, what is a 13.6-inch display. It won't go up to a 14-inch or even beyond 14-inch because we have that already. And also, don't expect probably a ProMotion display inside it. We'll probably have the standard 60Hz display too. Battery life is also going to be probably very similar or maybe just slightly more mainly because we've got that next sort of generation of chipset inside it but still at the end of the day the larger sort of 16 inch macbook pro will have the better battery life out there for chipsets we're expecting an m3 normal to be put inside this macbook pro and it's very likely that we see a significant speed increase of say around about 70 percent over the original m1 apple silicon that came out in 2020 we're expecting more cores again and also a bigger factor as you can see here is that the new chipset will be made on a three nanometer die that will improve efficiencies in speed and battery life all around now, having said all of this, at this stage, I will mention that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof they will come true for the new MacBook Pro. However, if you're still watching this video, then you're as curious as I'm knowing what is said about the new MacBook Pro anyway. So, the next question is on release date. So, up to very recently, the expected release date of a device with an M3 chipset is targeted towards the end of 2023. It is believed that Apple would want to get the M2 variant chipsets out of the way before focusing on the M3. We still have that larger MacBook Air to come out and also the Mac Pro 2. That is likely to have the upcoming M2 Ultra inside. We've also been told that probably most likely the M3 journey is to start the end of this year, say after when the iPhone 15 has been released at the end of summer. So over the last 10 years or so, Apple have more often than not done a mid-October to early November sort of Apple event showing new Macs and this year we're expecting the same four new MacBooks be released at this event and also possibly the new iMac M3 too but as we get closer to that date I would let you guys know the exact date when it's going to be coming available.
So then guys, just very quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And I gave away three different prizes. And if you want to check out who the winners were, do check out the 500,000 subscriber video what is on my channel. So check out who won that. But the great news is guys, I'm doing another giveaway. And this time it's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be doing it when we hit a certain subscriber amount. We're going to be doing it in some point in June. And let me show you what the prizes are going to be this time. We've got two runner-up prizes and the first runner-up prize is going to get their hands on this. These are some AirPods 2 and I'm going to be giving away this to one lucky subscriber and then also we've got this here and this is also the airpods free and i'm also going to be giving this away to one lucky person too then the grand prize is going to be this here it is an ipad air m1 and i'm also going to be giving this away but the main thing what makes everything different this time is i'm actually going to be doing a live stream in june time and revealing who the winner is right there and the details about that are going to be coming up in the video at the beginning of sort of around june time and you'll want to make sure that you get all the details about that so make sure right now that you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell because you won't want to miss out on the instructions for that live stream and you also don't want to miss out on the live stream too. Now also guys, I just want to say there are lots of scammers, lots of spammers out there, some of them impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp them, to Telegram them, contact them by different means and also part with any of your money. This is not me at all. My giveaway is totally free and it's also an international giveaway too with free shipping included. So make sure guys that you do tune into that and also at the same time guys I would love to know what Apple gear or what technology gear you're going to get in 2023 so make sure that you do put that down in the comments below of what you're planning to get and also a cheeky like to this video would also be grateful too and with that guys it's back to the video. So for the actual specs of the brand new MacBook Pro, today I'm not going to show a full list of all the specs, that will be coming up future in another video. But all we do know right now is like I said, we will be having that M3 chipset, what is the main sort of highlight in sort of under the hood and also the possibility of this brand new design MacBook Pro that you can see similar to these renders. As I've already explained before, it's most likely that we're going to be getting say two USB-C ports with Thunderbolt 4 inside them and also an SD card slot on HDMI and also MagSafe 2 think of it a bit like a 14 inch MacBook Pro sort of merged with the brand new MacBook Air together that's the kind of sort of design what's going to look like for the brand new MacBook Pro and to be honest this makes sense because Apple likes to keep their design language consistent across most of their models but again, I will just mention that in a couple of weeks time, I will be making an updated video with all the specs to show you guys. So do look out for that and make sure that you subscribe and also hit that notification bell to find out more details about that. And on that note, guys, it's also time to wrap up this video. What do you think of the brand new MacBook Pro M3? Is it shaping up to be a great new MacBook? I would love to know your thoughts, so please do put them down in the comments below. And also, guys, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, like I said already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.